Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is a hypothesis test for standard deviation. Let me read the problem to you. First, uh, test the claim that the standard deviation of the number of ships stolen each year in the United States is less than 20. If a sample of 15 years had a standard deviation of 18.3, use alpha equaling uh, 0 0.05. So pause the video and see if you can try to do this one on your own. Alright, step one is you want to do your alternative hypothesis and your null hypothesis. Now, look first look at the claim the claim is that the standard deviation is less than 20. Standard deviation less than 20. Remember for your alternative hypothesis, it's always going to include, you know, you figure out, okay, what the claim is. It's always going to include something that's not equal where the null hypothesis always includes something that's equal. So here, you'd write your null hypothesis as sigma equal equals 20. Your null hypothesis always has equals in it some way. Now, depending upon your textbook, either this would be equals or greater than or equal to. But nonetheless, it still has equals in it. All right, so that's step number one. Step number two is you want to find your critical values and also your critical region. Now, since this is a standard deviation and a variance of one sample, you're going to use a chi-squared test. So that means you're going to use the chi-square distribution, which looks something like this. Now, since this is less than, it's going to be left tails. Now, your alpha here is 0 0.05, and you need degrees of freedom for chi-squared. So that would be n minus 1. Here that would be 15. That's your sample size. Minus 1, which is 14. You break out your chart. You look up. What you need on, the, on your table. Degrees of freedom is 14. Now look at the picture in the bottom. Notice it's the area from the right. So I'm going to need 0 0.95. So I look at 0 0.95. I see where that lines up with the 14, which is 6.571. 6.571. OK, that's right. All right, so now you have that. Step number three is you have your test statistic. Here, since you're dealing with standard deviation or variance of one sample, you're going to use chi squared. And for standard deviation or variance, it looks like this n minus 1 s squared. That's the standard deviation of the sample over sigma squared, which would be this right here. So just substitute everything in. So it's 15 minus 1, parentheses. The standard deviation of the sample that you're looking at is 18.3. And you're going to square that over. You're assuming that this is the standard deviation of the population, 
that's what you're testing it against. So that would be 20 squared. So on your calculator, just plug all those in. So parentheses 15 minus 1, close parentheses uh, squared times 18.3 squared and error. The uh, 15 minus 1 is not supposed to be squared. So 18.3 squared divided by 20 squared. And I get approximately, since this is three digits, I'm going to round this to three digits as well, 11, three decimal places. 11.721. Step number four is to make my decision. 11.721 falls somewhere over here. Well, if it falls somewhere over there, then I'm not going to reject it. So I'm not going to, so do not reject the null hypothesis. Step number five. Based upon your decision and your claim, that's how you're going to write your conclusion. So do not reject, which means that I'm not accepting the claim because I'm accepting this. Since I'm not accepting a the claim, there's not enough evidence to support it. So there is not enough evidence to support the claim that, and then just restate the claim, the number, let me say it this way, the standard deviation, standard deviation of the number of ships stolen in the U.S. is less than uh, 20. And that's